further what we can do is after reflecting this also we have seen that there are muscles of the anterior as well as anterolateral abdominal wall right so in the anterior you have is the rectus abdominis it has fibrous intersections that's why when it builds up counterwards it, it looks like packs right so there are three packs there and three here the so six packs is common thing sometimes you find even uh, below to the umbilicus there may, there might be a, a incomplete transaction uh, a transverse intermuscular septum that will lead to formation of eight packs right this muscle is wrapped up into a fibrous sheath which is derived from the three muscles on the two sides right and how this rectus sheath is formed that also be uh, been explained to you remember the anteriorly it's completely formed by the conurosis of external oblique and the anterior line of internal oblique in the entire sheath and posteriorly behind is the postal cartilage is but posteriorly you have a postal line of the internal oblique, oblique as well as transverse abdominis but in the Uh, posteriorly there is the there is a gap there is this posterior sheath uh, uh, posterior wall of the rectus sheath is division below to the umbilicus here and the blue umbilicus and pubic symphysis midway somewhere there is an arcuate line so at that point you don't find the aponeurotic uh, rectus sheath behind rather the two layers the posterior lamina of the internal oblique as well as the transverse abdominis aponeurosis they all come to join the anterior wall of the rectus sheath right so posteriorly the lower most portion of the rectus abdominis muscle is resting on the fascia transversalis and the contents you know there were inferior epigastric artery and vein remember there are two vessels superficial inferior epigastric artery and vein deep inferior epigastric artery and vein there's a difference superior inferior epigastric artery is a branch from femoral artery and deep inferior epigastric artery is a branch from external artery external artery so those were the deep one they will enter into the rectus sheath from behind below to the arcuate ligament right and they will reach towards the umbilicus similarly you know there was a space of uh, larry's space here for a mere morgagni at the zephy sternal behind to the zephy sternum on the two sides so where this internal thoracic which is continuing as superior epigastric artery ठीक सुपीरियर एपिगैस्ट्रिक और सिमिलरली इन एंटरिंग इनटू द रेक्टस शीट फ्रॉम पियर्सिंग द पोस्टीरियर वॉल ऑफ द रेक्टस शीट वी बोथ ऑफ देम रिलीज टू द मलाइकस द नर्व सप्लाई ऑफ रेक्टस इंटॉमिनस इज द लोअर सिक्स्थ थोरैसिक नर्व राइट एंड द T10 वाला T10 विल रीच टू सप्लाई द अम्बिलाइकस एंड द स्किन ओवरलाइंग टू द अम्बिलाइकस देन टू स्ट्रेंथन दिस मसल एंड देयर विल बी अ यू नो अ इंटरलॉकिंग ऑफ द टू रेक्टस शीट ऑफ द टू साइड्स इन बिटवीन the fibers be cassette and that's why that the line yeah. form that's called yeah. linea yeah. alba linea alba linea alba is strengthened down by a small little muscle here yeah. arising yeah. from the superbibic crest and that's called pyramidalis the purpose is to strengthen this linea alba and the nerve supply for pyramidalis is the sub costal nerve t12 then the two lateral margins of the rectus sheath where the upper neurosis of the three muscles they actually split and form the participate in the rectus sheath the lateral margin is called the linea semilunaris linea semilunaris upper end reaches to the tip of the ninth costal cartilage and beyond to that if you extend it it continues as the mid milk line of shells so this is also you can say uh, the linea semilunaris is also continuation of the milk line of shells reaching to the pubic tubercle right. here onto this line you may find supernumerary nipples okay then on the two sides you have three muscles the three oblique muscles external oblique abdominis internal oblique and transverse abdominis remember external oblique was the only muscle which is taking origin above and insertion below there's all the muscles they were arising from iliac crest and they were reaching up above the two muscles on the deeper side they will reach insert onto the inner surface of the margins right here inside but external oblique takes origin from the outer surface on the lower eight ribs i hope you know that lower eight ribs outer surface anterior to the anterior angle and upper eight ribs on outer surface posterior to the anterior angle there was origin of serratus serratus anterior so in the middle four ribs middle four ribs is 5 6 7 8 they will find interlocking between serratus anterior and external oblique right now muscles they have been reflected out here you seeing these are the recti right rectus means is straight 
Okay, so these are the straight muscles. Not many times you must have heard this word rectus today, even when I was teaching the blood supply of jejunum manilium, there was the term rectus. What was that? Vasa recta. Vasa recta were the straight. branches of the rising from the arterial arcade in the mesentery. And they were supplying the mesentery border of the small intestine, vasa recta, because they were straight. 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 Rectus means straight, they were extraocular muscles also, which is straight muscles, rectus muscles. Rectum, the word rectum although is misnomer, remember the rectum, the lower end of the GIT. Rectum, that is presumably a straight thing because that is the passage for the downward passage of the stools. But it has a curved post, it has intense folds, right? It has curvatures also. So rectum actually, if you're talking about the lowermost portion, the GIT, that is a misnomer. Anyway, so there you're seeing is the posterior wall of the rectus sheath, and here, if you if you throw some light here, uh, you know, if there's a light, I hope it can be appreciated here. Can you appreciate here the margins here, this one, and this margin here? This margin, Yes. This margin, right? These are the arcuate lines. The, the posterior wall of the rectus sheath terminating here and actually there is this fascia transversalis from behind so this is this oblique curved line here and the oblique curved line here also ye wali, ye wali. if you trace it here acha sa margin khologe to isko ye milega is tarah se ye arcuate hai theek hai idhar ki taraf wala bhi hai arcuate hota hai margin actually put properly dissect nahi hua bhi hai isko jab uthaoge so you will find ki ye jo line dikh rahi hai that is the arcuate line anyways hum abhi time nahi hai sab explain karne aaye muscles humne little wall ki dekh li ek bar fast jaldi se revise kara do we talking is about the oblique muscles of the lateral abdominal wall anterior lateral abdominal wall so external oblique abdomen is the nerve supply is uh, t7 the lower lower thoracic nerve Talking about the internal oblique, transverse abdominis. T7 to T12 plus L1. In case of external oblique, there might be T6 also. Okay? Because it's lower A trips, right? So in case of uh, external oblique, T6 might also innovate this. And remember, external oblique was also participating in the bed of the breast. Thank you.